when I met BJ, he just asked me, you know, what do you guys do for Christmas? And I explained this program and his eyes got really big and he obviously went all out to try to help us. Within maybe 24 hours, BJ called me with a big idea of how they might be able to help. He reaches out in the community through the context of his network and gets gifts that they raffle. We don't do any work, they do all of it. And then they come to us with funds that they use on a gigantic shopping spree for our kids. We were shopping at Dick's Sporting Goods uh, last Christmas. It was fun because, uh, you know, we weren't put to a certain limit of what to get and, you know, what to look for. So we got to go and pick from other places. And, you know, I, since I knew that I was shopping for my friends, I got to pick out stuff they would like and, you know, s specific sports they enjoy and uh, stuff like that. They walked in not really knowing what to expect, but when they were told that they got to fill their carts filled with stuff for um, their peers for Christmas, they were beyond excited. They're like, are you sure, Miss Liz? Are you sure? Like, we can pick out these, like, name brand, brand stuff, like Nike and Adidas. And they were so, so incredibly happy. I've never seen their smiles so big, especially um, at the end when KC Sports Network said that they could pick out a pair of shoes for themselves. And um, the next day when I saw them at school, they were proudly wearing their shoes and they're like, check out my shoes, Miss Liz. And so they were, they had a blast and they loved working with um, the staff members from KC Sports Network um, and getting, getting to know them personally as they shopped um, was a really incredible experience. Therese passed away in February of um, 2021. It was very um, unexpected. He had always wanted a scholarship in his name. And so after that, um, friend Gabe D. Arman, who is the publisher of Power Mizzou, reached out and asked if he could rename a scholarship that he had established six months prior or nine months prior and attach Therese's name. And I said, yes, but that means that I'll come aboard too and help you fundraise. I knew who BJ was before Therese passed. Um, I often think back to a funny moment of him talking with Therese on the phone and me saying, it's time for dinner, tell your friend you have to go. And after Therese passed, BJ and I met at a Starbucks in the Northland and he just wanted to know how he could support me, what he could do, how he could help. BJ has um, leveraged his platforms and um, audience to support our efforts to raise money for the Missouri Scholarship that has Teresa's name attached, the Power Mizzou Journalism Alumni Scholarship for the Missouri School of Journalism. The big thing is, is we served 110,000 meals last year in 2022. I think everybody's a foodie at heart and who doesn't want to have access to that going out to eat experience. And so that's something that BJ and everyone at uh, uh, KCSN have done of feed it forward. So they're engaging people in the community to donate, invest and in restaurant partnerships to then feed it forward to people at Hope Faith uh, that are looking for a great meal and, and this special meal too. So. That's really exciting to see. People aren't coming in here because it's their best day, but when they're able to sit down with things like Feed It Forward to have a solid meal that they can then discuss with their friends about how good that was, it just restores dignity. And dignity, I think, is what we're all about. And I think the partnership with, um, you know, KCSN is about like feeding it forward, bringing, bringing community together in Kansas City um, just to make this great place we all call home, this region, an even better place when we're lifting up those in need. Young people uh, in our clubs don't always have opportunities uh, to get out to professional sporting events, and that was one absolute uh, outlet that we, we right away we, we felt could be brought to the table. So for every Chiefs home game uh, throughout the season, one of our club members uh, from, from a different club site would uh, get four tickets and a parking pass to, to go out um, and enjoy a Chiefs game. Uh, but then one cool thing was always, uh, you know, uh, they were surprised with a gift card to be able to go pick up, uh, you know, some Chiefs gear or something like that while they were out there. Uh, again, most of them had never been to a Chiefs game. And the cool thing is this year, most of them got to see a win, so. The impact that we had and what you saw on the kids' faces when we'd walk in. I remember the first time that we went in to give books, they couldn't believe that they were theirs. They couldn't believe that they got to take them home. 
that they got to put them in their cubby, that was a privilege for us to be able to be there and just be with those kids. So businesses have a finite amount of money that they can spend in marketing, right? You look for ways to sponsor, you look for ways to get your name out there. In terms of banking and the Michaelis family, we wanna have community impact and being able to take a sponsorship and go beyond the dollars and be able to have that impact in the communities that we're in, not only for our business, but more importantly for those communities and the people that live there.